So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we said our final goodbyes, and we just like, damn, one fucking month in this fucking place. And we actually went out to dinner uh, that night. Uh, we went to back to Aztecas uh, that, se- uh, that last night. So the first day in Charlotte, we went to Aztecas, and we ended the same place where we went out. So that was pretty funny. Um, this time, I actually got myself like carne asada with rice and beans. Pretty good. Um, and whatnot. Kayla can fucking eat. Holy shit. Let me tell you about Kayla. Fuck. She can fucking eat. Holy shit. Same with CJ. These two are fucking... I don't know how y'all do it, though, but they can eat a lot and still, like, look good as fuck. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> damn, God hate me that much? Be like, damn. Okay, cool. Yeah, we, we, we uh... Went to Frankie's that night too, and that's when we claim all these prizes and whatnot. <laughs> oh boy. I can't believe we got stuck. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to get your face like you <laughs> went to Frankie's and we finally got to spend all our tickets and I'm telling you most of the tickets were won because we won like big prizes on uh big uh we had like big tickets on certain games I won that comfort panda like five times which gave out 500 so I was like 2500 tickets right there um and whatnot so yeah we wrapped up the following day um CJ and Alexis didn't want to bed because their their flight was at well CJ left at seven but there was no point of and Alexis was like early in the morning, so there was no point of taking Alexis, coming back, taking CJ. So he went out with Alexis to go out to the airport and just then and then. And I believe your flight was delayed, wasn't it, CJ? Uh, from what I heard, your flight was delayed and whatnot. <clears throat> and um, yeah, uh, that Monday, yesterday, um, everybody left. Uh, Kayla, the other two managers, uh, left like around nine. 
And Michelle and I stayed to like four o'clock because our flight wasn't until like late in the evening. So, yeah. Um. You ready to go back home? Yeah. <laughs> Look at all that luggage you got. Shake my head. <laughs> is it good, the soda? Like carbonated. Carbonated? What is it, the southern? Southern shot. Ah. Shot, 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 shot. <laughs> Last flight back home. <laughs> you ready to go home? I'm not. Yeah. I know your best friend misses you. Ah, oh, damn, this is, this is hurting like a bitch right now. I don't want to leave now. <laughs> I do. Oh. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> to fly black, again, I hate whenever we take off. Yeah, it's just, fuck, no. It was like, oh boy, it's like, holding on to deal like a random roller coaster. Yeah, so. There was a lot of turbulence um, on the way back home, so there was like a lot. Oh boy, it was so shaky. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Um, it was so shaky on the way back. And what? Now Michelle was falling asleep. It was funny. She was like, oh, look at Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> By like an hour. What was the reason? Hold up. Man, I think Michelle told me, but what was the reason why your flight was delayed, man? I I don't think she told me, but uh, I want to know why. You, what was delayed? Um. <clears throat> but uh yeah um we came back yesterday it was like hours actually got our flight was delayed by like 20 minutes because apparently the max weight there the plane airplane was over the max weight capacity uh landing capacity uh whenever we fly down i guess there's like a certain weight you have to the plane has to be in order to land in tulsa and they were off of it they were off by 10 passengers so instead of kicking 10 passengers out, they figured out a way they had to burn some fuel and whatnot. So we were there for another 20 minutes 
25 minutes uh we were delayed but we got back like around eight o'clock ish um back time is 7 55 p.m please <laughs> remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until we park safely at the gate and the captain does turn off the fastened seatbelt sign a special congratulations to those of you who signed up for the 50,000 bonus miles it's not too late to take advantage of this great offer as we will have some applications available for you as you deplane once again thank you so much for choosing american airlines we hope you have a great rest of your evening and we hope to see you again soon Back home. Come on, Huggy, let's go. I'm not coming back to work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, it's good to be back home. Bro, stop right away. My ears are falling out of my ears. Yeah, that's like, huh? That's like, huh? That's bad, bro. Dude, I've had too many So, what do you think? I'm happy to be home. Good experience. Oh. Hopefully it's perfect. <laughs> I don't know yet. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Oh, I'm tired. Obviously, I met Michelle's father and her brother. Um, we went back. We went to her place yesterday. Uh, we got I um. Ah, the AC broke. Oh boy. Yeah, I went to Michelle's house. She has a pretty nice house, I'll say that. Um, met her mom. Obviously, I mean, I've seen her mom and her dad, but I never really got to introduce myself, who I am. And I had something. I had dinner that night with her family. Well, with her and technically her family. Uh, it's called pho, uh, P-H-O. It's some uh, tradition in Vietnamese dish. Pretty good. Not going to lie. It was pretty good. What they add in their broth. I guess they, like, cook the broth 24 hours in advance and whatnot. And the broth to that, uh, to this dish was pretty good. It had like noodles and a bunch of other stuff that I really liked. Like, I'm not a picky eater like she is, you know. Michelle's a fucking picky eater. Holy fucking shit. I love you, Michelle, but you need to stop being so fucking picky. You fucking pe oh god. But um, <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah, it was pretty good dinner and whatnot. And then I came back. That's whenever I got on the phone with Katie. And his Fuck name is you, bitch. She's a fucking and, um, yeah, we got, to, uh, ah, thanks for the sub, Katie. Um, obviously, I, you know, after dinner, she came, dropped me off. I actually go, had to go get my car key from, my apartment key from my uh, brother. He's still using my car until Wednesday, until tomorrow. Um, shut up. It's not a fucking me getting into a relationship. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> So, yeah, I got on the phone with Katie. I told, uh, apparently, I got a fucking notice saying that I didn't pay my fucking rent on time. Or I didn't pay in full. I'm like, what kind of bullshit is this? So, I was on the phone with Katie and the uh, Sugar Captain and Grim. So, I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's hop in a Discord call. And I got my, my PC turned on and whatnot. And got in a call with these guys. And, you know, we talked, you know, just try to get it. I didn't really, I didn't really talk a lot about the trip because I was going to talk about it today. 
So it was nice hearing these guys again. Like, oh, God, fucking nice to hear these motherfuckers. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, hey, Katie. Uh, hey, Sugar, Katie, do, can you do the shout outs for everybody else that's appeared in chat? Like, Dr. Lotus, uh, Graham, CJ, um, Kyle. Um, can you do the shout outs, please? Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I got in these cars just hearing these guys like, God, I was like, hey, I'm not dead. I didn't disappear for six months. So, yeah, it was, it was nice hearing you guys again. Um, just this overall experience with being, me going out to Charlotte and whatnot, it, it, it's been amazing, man. Just, again, I've, uh, I never, never thought I was going to have this opportunity to go out and um, experience this with these guys and whatnot. Uh, all these guys that taught me um how to be a better supervisor how to be a better person and whatnot i i i'm really and taking it into consideration that uh i want to be better than what i am right now you know granted i can always be better you know all, all these conversations i have with everybody the managers these trainers and whatnot you know yeah i know i can do better and just hearing their thoughts and trying to get advice from them to be a better person really takes going to take me uh, further to where what, what i want to do you know Obviously, I had a 10-minute conversation with one of the AGMs. CJ and I had our talks. You know, I'm like, yo, you know. Um, obviously, I talked to Jasmine. I talked to Rocky, you know, about how how can, how can are they working around their stuff to be better and whatnot, you know, because obviously each center is different um, in our company. So, you know, some things I'm going to take into consideration and whatnot and, some things I learned from here that I'm going to take back to the, to my store whenever I go back to work. Um, and getting to know these guys, you know, it, it, it really was an amazing experience talking to these guys, getting to know them a bit more. You know, it's just something new I never really thought I was going to be able to do. And the fact that I got flown out here to train these guys and to meet new other trainers from different locations and learn their way and how they do things and you know, take advice. It's, it was just an amazing uh, experience. And me coming out, exploring a new city, something I wanted to do in life is to explore somewhere else. You know, granted, I've only been to a couple of uh, places like Colorado, but I, I wanted to be able to go somewhere out to explore and see new things. And the fact that I got to go out to Charlotte, explored like, you know, Frankie's, uh, <clears throat> Uh, smoke, uh, smokehouse, uh, all of the fucking Fahrenheit. That, that was, and seeing this city just made me realize I really want to do more of this, you know? Um, go out, explore. And that's something, like I said, that's something I wanted to do in my personal life is just go out and see something else, you know? Uh, trying to mentally better myself and mentally take a break from working. Obviously, that's why I took that Monday off to go walk around, explore, just see things, something else. Um, And, um, again, these guys have been amazing, man. I, I, I made a lot of great people here. Fucking CJ, party animal. I, I told him I'm coming back and we're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a 21st birthday. I'm going to buy him his drink or drinks since he knows he, lo he loves to party. Um, <clears throat> hopefully. Oh, uh, the shout outs is, you know, if you, if, you know, just to give you a shout out for stopping by the stream and, you know, hey, this, all, this person also streams too, or. You know, just check this person out, you know, because the point of our community is to grow together, to build each other up, you know, to be amazing streamers and whatnot. So, you know, just a custom shout them like, hey, thank you for stopping by the stream, you know, check this person out, too. Or, you know, I may do, an, I don't know, I may rework this shout out. I, I probably had another idea that I work with the shout out and whatnot. So, yeah, it's just to give you a shout out for stopping by the stream and saying, just saying, hey, and whatnot. And, um, but yeah. um. Great experience, just you know, meeting these meeting these people, meeting you guys has been awesome, man. Got to hang out to see how you are. Fucking see, I'm telling you, CJ is my best. Is the best. Calling it hands down. <laughs> CJ is fucking amazing, man. This man knows how to party. Rocky, fucking fantastic person, man. She finally taught me how to fucking cut Chris Pio's. Now I can go back. I'm like, hey, I can cut Chris Pio's now. Uh, fucking Jasmine had gave me some advice on how to be a proper supervisor too, and you know. Getting to talk to Vanessa and 
Kayla and them, uh, Alexis, how they do their stuff. Uh, you know, get to know them a bit more. Kyle and Dylan, fucking hilarious, dude. I feel like Kyle and Dylan remind me of Dumb and Dumber. No, I'm not trying to be mean to Kyle and Dylan. It's just funny, you know? I don't know if they know each other like that well, but it was just nice talking to them and whatnot. And meeting these other managers like B, uh, the AGM from Amarillo, the one from Odessa, I uh, got to work with these guys and better myself in a way where I can be better in any, any shape and form. And I'm really hoping that we get to do this more, you know? Maybe explore a different city and fucking get blacked out. <laughs> we had too much to drink. We fucking blacked the fuck out. <laughs> Uh, just, you know, and I'm also trying to get out of my comfort zone because I don't really interact with people a lot. And obviously, CJ knows from day one. Um, because CJ is a fucking extrovert. He is outgoing, man. I'm like, uh -oh. I have this. This is like my little comfort zone. And, um, fuck yeah. Oh, boy. You're going to work. That's going to be a lot of fun. That is literally asking for mass destruction right there. Oh, <laughs> us three hung out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But um, this overall experience has been a great experience to me, you know. And now I get to go back home and just tell them how much I fun I had. And I really learned a lot about myself during this trip. I really done a lot of mental thinking, you know, personal life and work life and whatnot. And don't worry, guys. For those of you guys, the trainers who are watching the stream, I promise you I will take a few days off to myself and work, work all the time. I promise you that is one thing. That's just one thing I just miss whenever I used to be a, a Team 2 trainer back in Chuck E. Cheese. Like, I don't have to worry about this responsibility. And whenever I became a manager, I got more responsibility and whatnot. So, um, yeah, just it, ever since I became a manager at Chuck E. Cheese till where I'm at right now, I've just been constantly working, trying to be better, but like, I always had to focus on work, and um, this trip actually made me realize that, you know, it's not always about work, you know, there's, there's times where I need to take a mental break and relax, enjoy the moment, don't be a fucking idiot, actually get a fucking girlfriend and socialize, for fuck's sake, and, you know, just really, really trying to take this into consideration. Obviously, there's a time to where we work and do the stuff we need to do, but there's also times where, you know, I can enjoy life, you know, talk to you guys, stream a bit more, you know, oh boy, oh boy, that's gonna be fun, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's just, I, I, I'm happy to where I'm at right now, I'm happy that I get to do things that I never really get to do, you know, obviously, you could have picked somebody, uh, my kitchen channel to take send out here but they pick me I'm like damn okay granted i'm surprised give me credit that i will be on my best behavior that wasn't my best behavior give me credit that i didn't get home fired fucking fired listen y'all gotta have some faith in me really you know what sugar i'm making it fuck y'all fuck y'all sugar and i we're gonna go to the club what <laughs> it's a party in the chat. Fuck yeah. Sugar. You and I, well, I'm going with, we're going, we're going to, uh, when I go down to California, we're, we're hanging out and we're going to get some bitches. Well, I am. You're going to be my wingman. We talked about that. We're going, Sugar and I are going to California. I'm going to California so that way Sugar can be my wingman. That was the fucking plan. That's what it was. I knew, fuck yeah. I knew what it was. Fuck you, that's what it was. Sugar, that's right. I remember Sugar and I had this conversation. Uh, Sugar, Sugar's going to be my wingman whenever I go out to California. Because that trip is still happening. I'm making a trip to California. I do not know when. I'll probably go down there this winter. If they let me. Like, November. Fuck yeah, San Diego it is. Let's go. Oh, we got to bring CJ to San Diego then. We got to bring everybody to San Diego. Dude. What if we all plan a trip and go to San Diego? Who would be down? Who would be down to go to San Diego? I'm trying to get lit. I'm trying to fuck it. Sugar's still my wingman. Dude, that would be nice. You know? But, uh, yeah, really had fun. Uh, you guys have any questions? Any questions about the trip? I know that was like two hours of me talking. Well, hour and a half. Uh, of me just blabbing and talking about it. That would be nice to go to fucking San Diego. My favorite part of the whole trip? 
Oh boy, there was a lot of good moments. I gotta say that the, the my favorite part of the trip that would have to be. Oh boy, there was a lot of good moments.
we all got together at, well, in in the room and we all hung out. You know, had had a little party and you know really got to talk to each other. You know, that's gotta be my favorite part because everybody was in 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 the room talking to each other, having a great time. And you know, granted we had other times. You know, but that was like a to me that was like one special moment. And that was the night before we opened. We did the grand opening, um, cause uh, yeah, we were just having fun, enjoying ourselves. You know. Just having a good time. And granted, there was like other moments we had and whatnot, like the Fahrenheit or the Crankies. But I, in my opinion, it would have to be that moment, the day before grand opening, when we all got together, you know, order food, drink, had fun, you know, just play cards against humanity. CJ acting like CJ. That that's gotta be my favorite favorite moment. Let me ask you this, CJ. What is your favorite part? Well, what was your favorite part about the the trip, CJ? Mm. That's a good question. I'm going to try to aim before Friday, before Thursday. Listen, I care. I care. It's not like I call you shitty friends before, you know. I, I care about you. I'm going to try to aim for this week. Oh, yeah. Top golf was fun and VIP. Oh, VIP was something else, dude. VIP was something else. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be the most hectic night I had. <laughs> so. Alrighty, so nice. We'll probably do like a six, seven o'clock ish, depending how late. Um, we're gonna do like a late. Alrighty, oh well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for coming by. I appreciate you guys coming back. Uh, coming by. I'm glad I'm back. One month later. Um, for the Charlotte experience. To, um. Monday, Monday. I'll be back Monday. I'll be back Monday. Uh, whether we're doing Mario Kart Monday or we're doing something else, Apex. I kind of want to get back into Smash Bros. We'll see. But um, yeah, I've been the one. Yeah. You know we go out to late dinner. You know, like at nine, ten. It'll be a nice two, three hour stream, like five to eight, five to nine. And then we go out to eat. Because Buffalo Wild Wings isn't close to two, so we got all night. Um, yeah, I've been the one and only Gonzo Rico. I'm really glad to be back, man. It, it is good to be back. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing more projects in the future. I'll have an announcement on Operation Royal of the Wild. That sounds pretty good. Operation Royal of the Wild. Later on, sometime at the beginning of summer, I'll have more information for y'all. And, yeah, that pretty much sums it. Um, yeah. I've been one another Gonzo Rica, and I'll see you guys Monday for Mario Kart Monday. We're going to raid our cookie. Hey, can somebody uh, do exclamation point GR raid? Somebody do the GR raid, exclamation point GR raid. Because I finally got the command. I did it earlier today. And we're going to go right at the cookie. Cookie Master. Yeah, just. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Yeah, use that in uh, Sugar's chat. We're writing her out. And I'll see you guys later. Take care. Adios, amigos.